Yeah, sure. So last time you saw the game, it was really our first look at the game. You know, we showed a, a level called room service. Um, we really sort of teased on some of the story elements. Now, where we're at now is we're ready to sort of let people get their hands on with the game. Look, ready, ready to let people sort of start playing it and see how good it is for themselves. We've really spent the last few weeks and months even just sort of balancing and polishing the game. You know, we're really in that final steps for finishing the game off. In the early part of the game, we. The game starts out, it's played against this winter backdrop, you know, war is raging in Europe and it's a really sort of bleak existence in Empire Bay and this really mirrors sort of Vito's, uh, the, where Vito's at in his story, you know. Um, and as we progress through, as Vito moves towards being a made man, we progress into the 50s and the 50s is set against this summer backdrop, you know, it's the, it's the booming 50s, the war's gone, you know, it is the sort of the birth of cool as, um, as our marketing team likes to sort of coin, you know, it's the the birth of advertising brands and like you say, uh, cars were starting to be developed. Now the different things that were playing, we have different cars in the 40s to the 50s. Uh, in the 50s we do have these big muscle cars, you know, they're a lot faster, they screech around corners. But just generally, based against Mafia 1, the cars are a lot faster anyway, you know, in the 40s and 50s. And so the gameplay changes in Mafia 2 as, as the sort of the era changed. One of the nice things is, the way the game's sort of structured is, we, we work in the same way as a film would work, you know. Uh, a mission in the game is sort of a, a moment in time in Vito's life, whether it be a day, or three hours, four hours, whatever. And as we progress through the missions, we sort of take time jumps forward. Maybe we take three months step forward, or maybe we take some years step forward. And what we do is we use this to sort of introduce new stuff to the player, whether that be, uh, and it comes quite naturally, you know, new guns are introduced, like naturally like new guns are invented, new cars are introduced, new music's introduced. and and. and these things obviously have a different uh, thing on gameplay. Like towards the later part of the game, better sp sports cars were being developed in reality. So these sports cars become available to the player and you can drive them there faster and you sort of feel that. As well as I talked about the winter backdrop and the, the, the weather really plays into this, you know. Driving in the winter is really slippy, sort of like, it's a, sort of a bit more exciting. It's a bit more, it's a bit more difficult actually to drive in that. Thing. When you get to the summer, you're sort of more accustomed to the game, you're more able to do these things. Also the driving's a lot simpler, but we give the player sort of faster cars to sort of take it to the next level. Vito and his buddy Joe, the story's a buddy movie about these two characters, their rise up in the ranks of mafia, of, of a mafia organisation. These guys don't aspire to be the boss, that's the first thing to be really clear on. They want to be wise guys. They, they, they see these wise guys around the streets, you know, they've got money, they've got respect. They want that, they don't want to be sort of the uber lords of this city and rule the city, they just want a better life for themselves. Now as they rise up the ranks, they start off doing very small time jobs, stealing cars maybe, uh, selling sort of gas stamp rations and stuff like that but as they move up they get asked to do some more heinous things sort of disposing of bodies actually assassinating people actually taking on huge mob bosses and then what happens in the story not to give too much away obviously because we don't want to spoil things is they they sort of get a little bit greedy you know they sort of take on this job where they want to take a bit more for themselves outside of maybe their their organization and everyone knows what happens when that sort of stuff happens everyone's seen the sopranos you know you start doing stuff away you're not um you're not paying back to the boss then he's going to get pretty um pretty annoyed at that so the guys they kind of go on this um they go on this mission without saying, again, without saying too much, they go on this mission, it ends pretty badly, and then uh, things go on a, a pretty downward spiral from there. So we end up sort of showing the very real side of this stuff, you know, friends, family, a lot of people end up getting hurt along this journey. So it's a real sort of nice, poignant story. With the recent release date move, the main reason that we've wanted to do this is we wanted to spend that extra time to make sure the game truly is as great as it can be, you know. We've, we've come a long way and to sort of fall at the last hurdle would be a mistake. So we're spending that extra time in balancing the experience, really, really polishing up the experience to make the game sort of as really good and what Mafia fans would expect from the experience. So Mafia 2 is coming on PS3, 360 and PC for Take-2's fiscal Q4, which is between August and October.